Hey weirdos, it's Darren. Welcome back to the channel and another episode of Weird It Forward. And if I look, uh, I do look a little sweaty and I apologize for that. Uh, here at Marlar House, the air conditioning is out. So uh, I'm doing this in 85, I think, I think last I checked indoors, it's 85 degrees in here. Uh, but it's still better than outside. But anyway, um, I still, I mean, so you're gonna hear some noise in the background too because I got the window open. But I didn't wanna wait on this. I just came uh, came across this story that I had to share with you because here at Marlar House, when it comes to Weirded Forward, you have an opportunity to make a positive difference in somebody's life. As, our, as the new motto says, um, nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. Well, here's your chance. Let me show you this photo and uh, let me ask you a question. Use Ricky is pictured on the left, okay? Richard is pictured on the right. Now, if you had to choose which one of these guys is a bad guy, which one do you think? Do you think they're the same guy? Well, a lot of people did and that's part of the reason that we're coming to you today for Weird It Forward. So which one's the bad guy? Ricky on the left, Richard on the right. Well, let me give you the story and it is unbelievable. Now, everybody has a doppelganger, is what they say. Luckily, we found his, says the lawyer for Richard Jones. That's the guy on the right. He has been freed from prison after serving, get this, 17 years for a crime he has always insisted that he didn't commit. Jones, he was released by a Kansas judge after lawyers presented evidence that there was another guy who bears an uncanny resemblance to him and that witnesses could not tell the two of them apart. I mean, look at these guys. They do look like twins, don't they? Uh, there was never any physical evidence linking Richard to the 1999 robbery and he was sent that he was sent to prison for. Now, uh, Jones' girlfriend, Richard's girlfriend and family members, they backed up his alibi but he was convicted anyway because witnesses, including the robbery victim, identified him as the guy. Well, the victim testified last week that uh, she can no longer be certain that Richard was the robber. Uh, Richard found out about his doppelganger from fellow inmates over the past 17 years who told him, hey, there's another guy that looks just like you. He even has the same first name as you. I mean, Ricky, Richard, they're both, essentially they're both Richard. So while no criminal case has yet been filed against Ricky, who, unlike Richard, actually lives near the scene of the crime. So Richard was released with the help of Midwest Innocence Project. Now, here's the reason that I'm coming to you today. Kansas, they don't have a law uh, compensating victims of wrongful conviction, but a GoFundMe page has been set up to support his return to society. What a tragedy this is for this guy. So uh, here, here again, let me look at this guy. 17 years of his life gone. It looks like his probably half of his life he has spent in prison for a crime that he didn't commit. So I've got a link to this fundraiser. It's a, it's a GoFundMe account. Uh, if you want to look for it, it's Richard Jones is finally free. Uh, but the link is actually uh, down in the description. And I'll also put the link uh, up here in the video so you can check it out there. Uh, they're, they only have a $15,000 goal. And uh, as of recording this, they have just a little over 13,000. But man, I would love to see that jump over 25, 50,000 because this guy really deserves an opportunity to build his life again. It wasn't his fault he was there. 17 years completely gone. So check out the link and give if you can. Thanks a lot, weirdos, and we'll see you next time.